a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Yes, compliment of the season. It's December, you know, guys. Christmas is around the corner. And I hope you are planning well. God is going to help you your Christmas preparation in the name of Jesus. You will celebrate Christmas well in Jesus' name. In this season, we shall all gather next year to give good testimonies that God kept us alive because God is going to crown the year with His goodness. Amen. Welcome to church, guys. Yeah. So, we go straight to our praise and worship right now, okay? And after the praise and worship, I'll be back with the message. I'm the one preaching today. Yay! Thank you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.
is good. He's so good. Yes, yes. Hi, Fusion. How are you doing? Compliments of the season. It's a season of joy. Come on. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. That's what the Bible say. Praise the name of the Lord. We just finished our series, Salt, Creating Thirst. I hope uh, you've been able to create thirst in your environment, at home, school, your community, wherever you find yourself. You're supposed to be the light of your world shine bright like a diamond show uh, that you serve a living God. We are God ambassadors here on earth. We need to represent God to the fullest and I hope you've been doing that effectively. I pray for grace upon your life to be able to carry that assignment successfully. Yeah, Do not let anyone despise you. Be that an example of believers in all you do. Praise the name of the Lord and please guys in case you missed that lesson Go back. It's online. Go and listen to that topic, uh, that series, Salt. Uh, five weeks we uh, treated that topic. And I guarantee you that your life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. It's Christmas season, guys. It's Christmas season, season of joy. Yeah? Uh, please show someone the love of God this season. Yeah? Let someone experience the love of God through you. Let them know that, yes, Christ is the reason for the season. Yeah? Get, no matter how small it is, I advise you, get someone a gift. Yeah? It, it could be your parents, it could be your mom, your dad, your siblings. Just find them something. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. Just do something special for someone. Make someone to feel um, uh, special. Make someone happy. Praise the name of the Lord. And if you can't afford, you can give your service. Yes, you could visit an hospital, an orphanage. You could visit an hospital, pray for someone. Yeah, you could visit a relative. Yeah, show someone the, the, uh, the, the kind of love that Jesus has taught us. Praise the name of the Lord. You must be an example. You must be, remember, you are the salt of your, of your world. Yeah, you are creating thirst, bringing God's flavor in all that you do. Amen. Amen. And uh, today we have a new series. It's called God with us. Praise the name of the Lord. God with us. Can I hear you say God with us? Yeah, God with us. And today we're going to say God with us in the valley. Yeah, the subtopic today is God with us in the valley. Let's pray. Father, thank you for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Thank you for December. Daddy, we know you're going to crown this year with your goodness and your mercy. Is there anyone here that is giving up, Father? Do not allow them to give up. Show them that you are the God that is on the mountain and you are still in the valley. No matter how low they've come, Father, show them that you are the living God. Crown this year with your goodness in the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies, great testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God with us in the valley. Quickly, let's read... Um, Turn to your Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Yeah, give me one minute. Let me just open my Bible and read it for us. Matthew chapter 1, verse, 20, verse 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with 
us and that is real fine our topic you know it's christmas it's december it's christmas season some of you will be traveling homes some of you will be traveling to visit your friends your family yeah some of you will be going to your villages god's going to be with you they do not be afraid yeah yeah this is the the call this season ember moons people are afraid but you are a child of god god is with you yeah he he said he will give his angels charge over you and keep you in all your ways lest you dash your foot against a stone yes god is with us no matter the season yeah god is with us god is with us in the valley yeah what is a valley you know i grew up in the city of um just plateau so i'm familiar with the the valley you know when you go up the hill and you're going down the hill if you're going down the valley you know yeah but sometimes you know when you're traveling you know you're up the hill there's another mountain to be climbed you need to go down the valley before you be able to ascend that other mountain maybe that's where maybe we, we as, as little kids we used to go and um and fetch fruits in the bush you know maybe in the other mountain that's where the fruit is but you need to go down the valley before you be able to climb the other mountain and go and get your juicy fruits yes so sometimes it is necessary to go down the valley you know because if you don't go down the valley you may not be able to go up to the mountain praise the name of the lord and god is going to matter what you're going through i'm going to share to you when i was down in reality my valley moment in my life but even at that god was with me i remember when i wrote my um my when i was in, after my ss3 we wrote the the um ssc i did both waik and neko yeah so waik was first then neko second so after the after the results was released for waik i i needed a certain requirement uh, on maths to be able to study the course of my choice at the university i didn't fail it but i didn't make it so i was looking forward to neko which is supposed to be my alternative but unfortunately neko withheld all our maths result and that was a valley moment of my life i will never forget that moment i felt so down i felt so low at that moment i felt as if god was not with me you know and i've forgotten about how far god has brought me of all the great things that god has done in my life i've forgotten remember i told you guys i lost my dad when i was just five it's god that brought me you know even going to, to secondary school was a miracle for me and i forgot all those miracles that god did in my life i was focusing on this valley moment ah god why did you forsake me i thought my life was over because i can't i couldn't go to the university at that moment you know i felt downcasted that was my valley moment but god came through for me praise the name of today i'm a graduate i'm not just a graduate i'm a master degree holder you know so no matter what you're going through in life god is with you that, that is my valley moment i don't know your valley moment you know i remember uh one of you shared the testimony that you were so so um uh affected by your dad's action you felt so bad that you had to go to the kitchen and use pencil to pierce yourself to hurt yourself you know that could be your valley moment you know but even at that god is with you i don't know your valley moment maybe 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 you're not doing well at school you know academically you know and you're feeling ah god where are you god you have forsaken me god you have left me but let me assure you even at that period of your life god is still telling you that he is with you praise the name of the lord so cheer up i don't know your valley moment maybe your parents or your family maybe you are going through tough time at home you know that could be your valley moment god is telling you emmanuel god with us in this season of christmas this december season do not let the devil tell you otherwise but in your valley moment you know how you think matters and what you say to yourself in that your valley moment matters a lot if you keep telling yourself i'm finished you know uh uh one of our teachers shared a testimony of an incident that happened with someone she knew you know he was riding on the, a bike someone was riding them you know and they had a terrible accident and the bike rider was shouting i'm dead oh i'm dead oh my own is finished but the guy that was on the bike with him was saying to himself i shall live i shall not die even at that moment he still remember 
to say positive things to himself. I shall live. I shall not die. Uh, and the result was obvious. He's still alive today to testify. But the person that was shouting, I'm dead, oh, I'm dead. Oh. You know, so even in that your valley moment, learn to say, you know, the Bible say, um, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are holy, whatsoever, think of those things, you know. Tell yourself some positive things, things that you need to tell yourself, even at that your valley moment. You know, God said, I will not leave you, I will not forsake you. You know, like David said, that word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Even in your valley moment, be, sh be, be very sure that you don't sin against God. Be very sure that you are telling yourself the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah, you know what I mean? The Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? Though the wicked come against me, together they stumble and fall. You have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Always remember, Emmanuel, God is with us. A pastor shared his testimony one time. He said it was 3 a.m. He couldn't go to sleep. You know, he was just awake all through the night. You know, his wife woke up and she saw the man that was still awake. And she slept a bit and she woke up again and saw that her husband was still awake. He said, when the wife stood up, she put her hand on his shoulder and she raised her voice. Never you said that. He was wondering, what have I been saying? I've not said anything. He said, never you said that, that you can't sleep. Tell yourself that I have a peaceful mind. I can sleep. You know? And that was that was all she told him, and she went back to sleep. He's saying no time now realized that he was worried, and he was saying those things to himself. Oh, oh no, I can't sleep this night. But when he changed his confession, self-confession, he was able to fall asleep. I want to tell you something, guys. Learn to trust in God in those your difficult moments, because God is always with us, Emmanuel. God with us in the valley, you know. It doesn't matter what you're going through, you know. You know, I, I, I'm going to share uh, with you guys next week about the story of Elijah. You know, Elijah was sometime in his valley. He also experienced his valley moment, you know, where he ran away from that woman, that wicked queen, you know. But God she still showed up for Elijah. You know, God did not show up in the wind or in the in the thunder. God showed up in a still small voice. I tell you, young people, God is still telling you this moment. I'm with you. Be rest assured. Rest your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know what your parents or any of your friends told you that's making you anxious, but I'm here to assure you that God is with you. God is telling you. Rest, rest, calm down, you know. I don't know what you're going through in your family right now at the moment, but I'm telling you that God is with you and he's here to rescue you. He's here to help you. He's here to deliver you. He wants to give you a new life. You know, the Bible says the thief comes not, but to still kill and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah, you know, the devil's work is to steal your joy. You know, by putting obstacles before you. And don't focus on those obstacles. Focus on this God, Jehovah Ebenezer, Jehovah Rapha, the mighty man in battle. There's no condition that God cannot come through for you. Praise the name of the Lord. There's no situation that God will not come through for you. Yeah, he was there for you in January. He was there with you in February. He was there with you in March. He was there with you in April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. God is still here with you. Praise the name of the Lord. And always remember, God is with you. I don't care. You know, some of you, maybe because daddy or mommy did not get you the new clothes for Christmas, you know, and you're going through your valley moment, maybe. You are crying. Oh, I'm not going to see clothes to wear. No, don't worry. God is a God of miracle. And without, with or without a cloth, still celebrate Christmas. Rejoice. Be joyful. Remember, Christ is the reason for the season.
praise it. Celebrate Christ. Celebrate your life in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know if there's anyone who has not known the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah? I pray for your salvation at this moment, even at the season of Christmas, in the name of Jesus. Because for this reason, Jesus came to this earth, you know, that we may have life and have our salvation. So I pray for your salvation this day in the name of Jesus. I pray for you if you have any doubt in your heart, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you become strong in the name of Jesus. I don't know what valley you are in right now, but I prophesy upon your life that you are delivered in the name of Jesus. I don't know what they said to you. Maybe someone said you never make it. I prophesy upon your life, you make it in this life in the name of Jesus. You become a shining life, a shining light to your world. In your family, you are a star. In your community, you are a star. At school, you are a star. You will shine in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall hinder your growth in this life in the name of Jesus. No one will despise your youth. You shall be example of the believers in all that you do in the name of Jesus. God will teach your hand how to work. I pray that God will crown this year with, for you with his goodness, with his mercy in the name of Jesus. God will give you the tongue of the learned in the name of Jesus. Your path will shine brightest in the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord is revealed through you in the name of Jesus. Go open your heart of understanding that you understand deep things of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Until I come your way again next week, remember God with us. God with us. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs>